So I, I think I actually think it's right. So there's a couple of things at play here. You know, is does the Fed have to cut quickly because of uh, because of a real slowdown in employment? Clearly not. We've we've ruled that out. But there is something in Mohammed said. So let's let's break down inflation. If you take service level inflation, it's running at three and a half. That's down from eight. So we're out, the momentum is good. Goods inflation is actually deflating moderately, but it's service level inflation you have to bring down. My sense is that will come down, but it'll come down very slowly. So, so what does the Fed do? So now take the funds rate. You've got a funds rate at five, let's say five and three A's. If you've got inflation, if you've got core PCE, core CPI next year, that's going to get down to two and a half. And we think that's about where we're going. That's a Fed projection. That's about our projection. So you've got a funds rate at five and three so you've got you've got inflation running at two and a half. You've got you've got real rates that are way too high. So you've got to cut rates, I think, 100 basis points to get to what is a quite frankly, a somewhat restrictive level. And I think that's what's going to happen. But it has to be instigated by that service level inflation. As Mohammed said, you can't you just, you're just not going to get core goods that deflate that much. You've got to get see some moderation in uh, service level inflation. My sense is you'll get that. But it's slow. By the way, things like shelter come with a lag, so you think that would slow. But you know, there's some sticky things: medical, you know, medical supply, healthcare insurance, auto insurance. Some of those things are just sticky, and they're not cyclical, and it's hard for the Fed to influence them. Well, let's get to the Federal Reserve, Mohammed. Next week, three-part act statement, news conference, projections. What are you expecting next week? So I think they're going to repeat because they're going to try and push back against the loosening of financial conditions. So they're going to repeat what we heard from Chair Powell on Friday, which had two parts. It's premature to talk about rate cuts, and we may still need another hike. Um, I don't think they'll believe the second bit, but they'll need to see it. I think in terms of what they project for next year, I am where WIC is, probably more like 100 basis points of cut than the 250 that the market has. And although they will not tell us that, it's more likely to come in the second half of the year um, than in the first half of the year. So, so that is what I'm looking for and expecting from this Fed. It'd be interesting to see how the market reacts. The market, as you know, has had very selective hearing. And it was stunning to me that last Friday, when Chair Powell tried to push back against what had been the massive loosening of financial conditions, he basically got side-armed, or you, I think you called it um, steamrolled, is the phrase you used that day, by yields coming down 10 basis points, despite what he said. So it's going to be interesting to see how closely the market listens to the Fed. But the market right now is totally ignoring Fed forward policy guidance.